Hello and welcome to our next video. Today we're going to talk about something that's one of my favorite topics to talk about. That's Dungeons and Dragons, specifically 5th edition, going to play for your first time in Adventures League. Now, if you're really interested in going out to play, you've probably been looking for a game, you may not know people to play, Adventures League is a great place to start. Um, now, what do you need to bring with you the first time you go to play? You're going to need several items, and I'm going to go from items you'll have at home to things you'll probably need to buy. Um, first thing I'm going to say is do not buy a player's handbook if this is your first time playing. Don't spend $50 because you may not enjoy the game. So save your money that way. Make your investment small, and when you find you really love the hobby, then go ahead and buy the book. That being said, three things to take with you. Take a pencil. Don't bring pens because you don't want permanent markings on your character sheet. Bring a pencil with a good eraser because you'll need to constantly make notations, erase them for things like hit points as you take damage, as you use spells, you'll cross things off. Always you need to be able to erase. So bring a pencil, don't use a pen, make sure you have a nice eraser with you. Second, bring blank paper. Something people don't realize is there are going to be a lot of things that you may want to take notes for while you're sitting there. Um, you may want to make notations about non-player characters that you need to go and meet, missions you're on, side missions, keep track of treasure you've gotten, uh, magic items which can be consumable like potions so you can cross them off. Um, make sure you bring paper. It's, you know, you, have, you should have some at home. If not, get a notebook and keep a record of what you're doing. Third thing you're going to need, this is also important, make sure you pick up a set of dice before you play. When you go to the store, they'll probably be selling uh, paraphernalia for gaming, so buy a set of dice. You can get them pretty cheap for around three, four dollars, all the way up to crazy amounts of money for metallic dice and stuff like that. Take this piece of advice though. A lot of people find they'll get dice, even though it's all random. You'll get a die that for some reason you think doesn't roll well, you'll end up buying more dice. Trust me, all gamers end up with multiple sets of dice. So keep it cheap, and then if you enjoy the hobby, start collecting dice like all the rest of us do. We all have ridiculous amounts of dice, trust me. Next thing that you should bring, if it's your first time playing, I don't recommend going and expecting that you're going to sit down and generate a character. Um, this is the reason why. Let's say your start time's at 7 o'clock at the store you're playing at. You get there a quarter of, you've never made a character before, you need to sit down with somebody. The person running it or the people that are knowledgeable may be talking or helping other people. They may be coordinating tables. They may not have time to sit down and generate a character with you. You want to make sure that you come prepared and also you don't want to kind of be rude and make the table spend 30 minutes of their two hour of time allotment which is normal for one of these sessions generate a character for you so i'm going to give you websites down below to go and download pre-generated pre-generated characters to take with you so that you have a selection to choose from and you don't want to bring just one you want to bring several um you know if the table's full of rogues, you don't need another rogue at the table. Maybe you, need, maybe you need a healer, maybe you need a tank, maybe you need somebody ranged. So bring a variety of characters and be open to playing all of them. Um, but like I said, there will be two sites. One is Wizards of the Coast, and they'll have some pre-gens there. Another site is DM's Guild, and there are people who have gone in, Dungeon Masters players, and actually made characters that are built from level 1 through level 10, so that you have the option, let's say you go from level 1 to level 2 when you hit 300 XP, your level 2 character is already generated. You pull it out, you don't have to sit down and mess with the player's handbook and waste time. You'll have characters all ready to play all the way up to level 10. Like I said, I'll put the links down below, and you'll be able to pull that down, print it out, take it with you, and you'll be 100% ready. And like I said, Pick a couple of different types of characters and take them with you so that, like I said, you just don't want a whole lot of one type of character at a table. It just makes for a bad session. The last thing to bring with you, bring a good attitude, ready to have fun. Um, 
You may be an introvert, could be an extrovert, no matter what your personality type, just go and play and have fun. If you're an introvert and you're, and you're scared of role playing the first time you go out, don't role play. Sit there and learn. If you're an extrovert, have fun, role play, just don't do anything crazy at the table. So that's the most important thing to bring an attitude that you're ready to have fun, open mind, meet new people, have an awesome time. It's a great game to play. You will enjoy it. Um, but that's about it for today. Those are the things you need to bring the first time you show up for an Adventures League session. Anyway, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe down below, and we will see you next time. Thanks.